Okay, it looks like we're live, so welcome back. Today I'm going to be continuing to work on Keynote Script. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, let's look at what was implemented last stream. Uh, so we can do this now, right? Uh, we can declare a structure. We can also access it using this. Um, it's not like a nice syntax. I'd like to be able to do x or whatever. But now we can do this, right? And this will access, um, this will get the second element of it. So y in this case. So if I run that. Oh, actually, let's use run sh and echo that 42. Yeah, 42. So that is actually correct. I grab this one, I can change this so I can make it uh, 10, right? Run it and do this. And yeah, 10. So, uh, yeah, you can do that. Uh, but again, I would like a nicer syntax, right? So it's basically just syntactic sugar. Um, but you know, it's uh, it makes it much more convenient to use, and it pretty much every language does. So, you know, foo.x, foo.y equals 12 and then you can also access it right so foo.y you know you can use it as an expression or you can assign to it yes hopefully that makes sense so <clears throat> uh yeah what that's what i like to do so let's actually uh this let me just update this uh, it also needs a little work uh the way that i did it was kind of messy um i was a little little rushed yesterday uh but yeah food any so i'd like to do that and i will exit with uh c9 in this case Mm, yes, yeah, so right now that doesn't work. I'm expecting token because we do not have any lexing capability for a dot. Uh, so let's actually do that. We gotta go to source and I'll just open. Uh, it's in the front end to start. Let's actually go to the header file and add dot, right? So if comma, we'll put it right by that. pt dot. Right after the comma. There we go. Space. Okay, so, um, dot, and then we need to actually add it here as well. Case dot, so let's put it after the comma. Where, and that's not there. It's actually right here, yeah, yeah. So, comma, and it's basically just the same thing, but with a dot instead. That's something I've pasted too many times. Alright, uh, tt dot. So, I'm not going to call it period. I'm going to call it a dot in this case. Um... <clears throat> Okay, and yeah, that should be pretty much it. So now it should uh should be able to lex, but you can't it does not compile still. So if we go to we have to recompile it actually. Uh yeah, that's not handle switch, that is all right. Mm, okay, I guess it gets stuck in a loop point is that Hmm. That is interesting. I let's see, does it actually Okay, that's in the parsing because we we never encounter it, so that's why. Um, yeah, that is, that is strange. All right, so, yeah, I think I know why that happens. Let's see, do we have the dot, though? Uh, dot, yeah. So you can see it's the dot there very clearly. Mm, yeah, so we need to go to the parse, and that's probably where it's getting stuck, because we don't handle uh, the case in the switch. So let's add case of dot. So if you just have a dot, that's not going to be valid, right? So let's go here. It's pp dot. Yeah, yeah, so that's why. So it doesn't print this, and it actually just gets stuck in a loop. So, well... In the default case, I should probably assert um, false, right? So, um, if we get here, I mean, something went wrong because you can only get here if there's a valid token. If there's a valid token, it should be parsed correctly. So, this should be um, valid token. Something went wrong in the parse, right? Uh, yeah. So, that is something I should have added before. Um, so, I kind of want to try that now. If I, if I just, you know, comment this out. Uh, rebuild this whole thing. Try to run it. It should say that. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So that is, um, that's useful. That's useful to know, actually. Uh, I didn't want to delete that entirely. I just want to get rid of that. Okay. All right, all right, all right. And build this. And now it should, um, yeah, unexpected token. So that is perfect. <clears throat> See, that's what I don't want. I don't want to print the uh, tree out any longer. Take that token away, then. Uh, because I don't really need that, right? In this case. Let's go back here and let's um let's see so if we encounter basically it's a variable we assign right and variable well okay we need to handle it in the expression we should probably do that first because that's what we're going to use so uh let's go to uh parse primary right so if we have an identifier where do we have that so ident mm -hmm. so if it's an open frame that means it is a fun call and if it's a bracket then it's that or if it is a dot, right? That's the next case. If token peak, token zero, dot type equal token type dot, then, 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 sorry, then, some more. 
um expert of course expert um <coughs> the indentation gets a little weird in the switch statements because it's not it's not exactly perfect because it's sort of it's based on brackets in the switch statement um the cases don't always have brackets so it it's a little messed up uh, well, let's see so dot type is what i want to do here equals x no, that's not right type equals um what is the expert so expert um <coughs> So that's expert bear. This case is expert um field, right? So I think we call it field. Uh, and that shouldn't be used, like there's not really a field in any other case. So I think that'll be fine. Um and then dot value dot field equals. Um, so we need we need the struct name and then the arg of the struct, right? Or the name of the argument. So so we'll set the field um field dot name equals the <coughs> The current token. Well, hang on. So we have the current token, right? We have, yeah, token dot value dot item. So that is that is that. And then the next one is another identifier, and that will be the the next token. So let's actually do this. And let's uh token consume here. That will consume uh the dot, right? In this case, that will be the dot. And then we want uh the current one for this. So we're gonna set expert um value dot field dot. Well, so this is the struct name, right? So we should call it that struct name and then var name. And I think that should be fine. So we should be able to get the offset because we can just grab the um well yeah we can just grab it during the during the compilation stage. The um what's it called the generation stage. Uh token dot not token but um token peak. Mm, let's set the let's see we know this is dot so we're gonna check that but let's do if um set let me see token equals token consume uh tokens and then we have the token let me actually add a comment for this so it's gonna be helpful this is a dot right uh in this case will be the um field name so uh field equals so not token people instead uh token token dot value dot type. and actually we might consume the token afterwards so do we want to do that uh no it doesn't look like we do so i think we're fine let me go yeah we should be okay with that to consume it uh should be we, it might we might want to use a peak there but uh for now it should be fine so we set that and we don't have to return expression or anything like that so i think we should be good um yeah so this is this is in expressions only right so and that's what we are trying to get working here is the dot here so we have the struct name and then we have the field name right so uh, we should go we, could, we should be good with that as long as we add this expert add the expert field right the type of it so expert let's put it uh, put above that expert field all right so that's like a struct field um okay so we need a field 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 <laughs> so yeah i think we just have a field and it'll be a name it'll be two names right so two string views essentially uh wait do we we don't need a value because we're getting the value from so that should be fine mm, so we'll have a string oops, string view, uh struct name and then string view of our name. if we have something else where it's not necessarily a struct but it still has a field in the same way then we'll rename this to be more generic but in this case uh that's all we have so we can call it struct name and it still makes sense so let me try to build that mm, all right type r undeclared so we have some issues i think i probably forgot a semicolon and you get parse by or something like that something similar to that mm, so we're right here <clears throat> yeah see where it is bang okay still did it not say yeah sometimes it does happen mm, i suppose no member named return type all right i think i messed it up in, in here as well uh okay upper field so yeah i forgot another semicolon right there Let's try that again. All right, all right, that's better. Uh, field design exists because this needs to be called field. There we go. Mm, and then, so the expression before that. Okay. Uh, unused parameter var index. That's interesting. Uh, that is something from the struct, so I'll get back to that. But this is, that's just a warning, so it's not a big deal. 558, though. So what is this? Wait, what's wrong with that? Uh, okay, because it's supposed to be a semicolon, not a comma. All right, so that compiles. Um, okay, so I need to actually handle the expert expert field when we generate the expression. 
So, um, Jen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so expert field. And that's built in. Yeah, right here. Expert. Alright, so we'll just grab this. And uh, we'll use it as sort of a starting point. So expert field. Mm, so we don't need the index. Um, but we need. So let's actually just set the index, right? Which going to be. Uh, let's see. So struct name equals expert value dot struct dot name. Uh, struct underscore name. Value. And now I'm thinking that maybe I want to store the whole struct in there, and then we don't have to. We don't have to reference it. So would that be easier to do actually? Then we can do that in the parsing. You know what I'm saying? Because we have a struct. Let's see. If we're going here, we have a struct, right? The type. So we have the nodes. Of, we have the values of it, and then the name of the struct, and then the nodes. Hmm. We might be able to use that. Well, for now it's fine. For now it's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll come back to that though, because that might be a good idea. I'll come back to the expert um theory. I might be able to do that though. So we'll see. In the use, this will be the var name. Expert value dot uh, var name. And we don't need to get the variable location at all, so we don't have to check this either. Um, okay, so <clears throat> we might not need any of this. So basically what we have to do, um, we have to go into here. Mm, Pano dot casual. So it's similar to basically what we're doing here, right? So we need to grab the pointer to it, um, push the uh, size, well, hang on, push the offset, that's what it is. Um, the size of it, right, the size of the type times the offset. So like this would be one, essentially, if it was a 64-bit uh, thing, right? So size of the initial type times the offset, we have to basically get that, right? And then we have to add that to the pointer and cast the void pointer. So we have this, like this is code that we can generate easily. Um, and then we need to push the value and read it. So <clears throat> to get the value, no, no, we have to push the size that we're going to read and read it, actually, right? Because this isn't right, this is read. So uh, it's the size that we're going to read. Okay, so that's basically the size of the current data type. So what we have to do is... Mm, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let me get rid of this, right? And I'm just going to make a function for it. So gen... Um, uh, struct, how do I want to call it? So get uh, gen struct field offset. That's what we call it. Uh, so we'll need the state and the file struct name and var. I think that should be all that we need, really. Um, is the state? Wait, does that store the struct? That does not, does it? Um, <coughs> yeah, we should. It should though. Uh, yeah. So I think we need to change actually. So I'm going to change that. This is the whole struct that we have here. Not structure. Not, uh. Uh, that's just so it's not a keyword. I'll call it structure. Uh, so let me go to here. Uh, struct. Structure. Okay. Then back in here, in the parts primary, uh, we need to actually get the structure, and that is going to be the value of the structure. Mm -mm -mm. So right here, Actually, this one. So this needs to be. So I'm gonna it out here. So uh, for value that field that structure equals get struct, and I might have that function. Uh, token that value. Dot so we can just get the structure from that. Um, as long as we have access to it. Uh, but we don't in here, and that makes it a bit inconvenient, right? Because mm -hmm. we need access to the struct like array <coughs> that we have. Um, so we need to pass that. Structs. So let me uh, let me just pass it here. Anywhere that we call it gen expression. Well, that might for parse primary. Well, it's expert. What do we? We only pass the tokens to that. So that's interesting. Um, let me think. So what can we do in this case? Um, mm, that makes it that's rather inconvenient because I don't want to have to pass it all the way through. You know what I'm saying? But I might have to. Because we have it at like the lowest level, right? Um, in the actual parts. Is structs. We have this. See? So this is sort of what we need to look at. Mm -hmm. This doesn't return the struct though. 
So it's basically the same as this, but we want to return the struct itself instead of instead of nothing. So right, right. I'm just thinking, like, how do I want to handle this? So maybe, maybe. It's just inconvenient, right? Because we don't pass it through everything. Okay, let me go back. Okay, right here. And we'll not do that yet. Go back to this. And then... Uh, field. And I'll change this back to the I'll still call it construction, but I'm just going to use it here. Uh, and then expert create. And then, yeah, so I guess we just have to pass the, uh, pass that. Pass that. And we need the structs. We we'll have to pass, we we'll just have to call this every time that we get do this. Like each time that we call this after the file. Play right at the end. Uh, node and structs. Alright, and then gen extra. Anywhere that we call that. Just pass the uh, structs at the end. And that should be okay. Quite a few of these though. Whoops, that goes kind of far. Okay, strikes. Strikes. So I know I missed one, so I'm gonna have to go back again. Oh, Jane Expert. Let's see. Strikes. Mm -hmm. We're getting it. We're gonna actually just have it stored in the state. Wait, how hard would that one be hard to do? Maybe I want to undo. Whoops, that's not gonna work. Actually, that'd probably be a lot better. All right, let me let me do that. Uh, hang on. Uh, Let's just uh. Get rid of this, and then we will just have to go through all the pilot ones. Ah, uh, this is the wrong one. Gen expert. Alright, there's a lot of this. Holy balls. Okay, get rid of this. And so I'll have to go through the pilots, but then I can just add it to the program state. You know? <laughs> and the state that we pass here to generate, we declare it in here. So let me go back here. We're still in the program, but not in the state. So program state. Set uh state um state dot structs equals program dot structs. And it's a little like I'm I need to go through and clean up, but I don't really feel like doing that now. So it's going to program state. Okay, so that's uh not funny, right? Is it in this one? That's right here. So we need just like nodes, right? Uh, structs. And yes, yeah, so now we have a lot of those, so let's go back here and let's just fix all that. 246. Uh, 504 actually. Okay, I can actually search for uh, the structs. That uh, covers it pretty well. Actually, it puts it on the right character as well, so that's nice. Uh, that's not the right one, though. No. Uh, yeah, we still need that one. That one as well, not this one. Okay, to beginning, close. I didn't, I didn't do that before I realized. Uh, okay, there. almost there. And that should be pretty good. So now, um, it should almost compile. These parameters still that's fine. Uh, no memory named, named structure. Why not add it? To that, uh, hang on, let's go back to here. Mm, wait, what was it? Expert value. 
Oh, yeah, it's field. Okay, that's what it is. Um, field, field. Let me only set. Export value of uh, field. Field dot structure environment. Okay. Mm, this. All right. So we don't have uh this. So that's why we get that. Structs undeclared. So we need to actually state structs, right? Uh, we'll just pass the state, and we can use it there. That should be helpful. Struct name undeclared. Uh, yeah, it's just called struct now. Uh, structure ran. And let's see, so we'll place a declaration. Declaration and has no member name, struct name. Interesting. So front end C. What was it? Five people. Oh, it's not structure. Okay. Yeah, I think I should compile it except for the, yeah, uh, that. So the linker there. Oh, uh, but that is fine. So, in expert, um, what was it? Expert field. Uh, we need to declare this function. J, that. So, let's put it here. Um, void. Bit of space. Okay. Do that. And, what is? Uh, so, program state. State. File file. Structure, so this is a string to be. String view var name. Okay. Let's call it var and um, structure is fine. Okay, so now we can get the structure from the state, right? So we'll do uh, struct. Structure. Well, actually, then we could have just passed it. Uh, whatever, it's fine. We'll get it in here. Um, equals get struct from the state. And then also the uh, structure. Uh, let's just do struct name. That's what we'll call it. Struct name. Okay. We can make this um struct pointer. Nah, it doesn't have to be a pointer. Uh, get struct. Uh, program state state and string view struct. Okay. What we have to do basically is the same as this struct, right? That function. Uh, let's see, struct. We have that function. Yeah. Uh, not get struck. Uh, it's the same. Oh shoot, I call it get struck. Oh shoot, we have a get struck. That returns a note though. Why does it return a note? Mm, okay, so we do have a get struck. Let me uh, come on to it. Put it like up here. Give it to this one, and that should be fine. So let's let's like compile it. Uh, redefinition. Why? Oh yeah, because I didn't get rid of the other one. Uh, that's okay. Strong. Mm. That's one in top. That's one I'm gonna. I'm gonna get rid of this one. And then on variable structure, and that's actually an invalid initializer, right? Because we need to do uh, that. Um, that value dot structure, I think. I use variable. Okay, so I think that is fine. Incompatible type. So what does it expect? <coughs> the nodes. All right, so we can pass the uh, state um, structs. Has no member named structure instructs. I guess so. Maybe. Okay, let's see. Mm, use variable, and use parameter, that's fine. Alright, so now we need to generate all the stuff from that. So we need to iterate over all of the stuff. So four, zero, or i is less than. Well, hang on, let's do the i. Uh we can do it in a four. So four zero, or i is less than uh structure. Which should not count. I first plus. So that should be all of the um should not R is not count. Let's see, is that correct? Struct has no member named R. Uh-huh. Uh it's yeah, I call them values are here. Those values. Okay, values not count. So we'll iterate over that. Uh so while that and um structure.value.data i dot name. It's not 
uh, and then what? We will uh, do compare. And not that. Okay. Then when we get to the end, we should be on that one. But we want to generate the, um, well, we want to just iterate the offset essentially. Offset equals zero. We'll do um, offset plus equals one. We'll do one times um, the data type size of structure dot values dot data i dot bar dot type. It was just type. I'm not sure. Let's see. We can see uh, what it says. Struct number has no record name to bar. Yeah, so we need to do data uh, value dot uh, var dot. Okay, so then we don't use the file yet, but we should have the correct offset. So if I just uh, print that offset and try to print it out, right? Offset, we can see what it is. It should hopefully print out. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh, unknown struct. Okay, why is that? Mm, so something seems to have broke. Uh, let's see, is it in here? Unknown restraint. Uh, it seems to be. So, this is not working. Why? We probably have the location actually from the data. It's kind of hard though. So, unknown struct. Uh, that really should be an assert. Uh, because that means I did something wrong. So, maybe I'll just do that. Assert. Right, because uh, we shouldn't get here because this should be checked in the parsing. So I can do that, and then it should assert, right? Mm, yeah, unknown struct. So let's also print out the name. Uh, we don't need a new one actually, so we can uh, view print and then view our name. All right, let's see what that says. Oh, well, actually, it's just going to be the same thing, sir. So, uh, it's not really useful. Unknown struct foo. Yeah, so. Mm. Oh shoot, we're passing the wrong thing here. Okay, struct. <sighs> struct name. Mm. So I think the, uh, let's see, struct name. I think it is food. So I think we grabbed the wrong thing. Uh, let's see, actually, this view thing. I just want to make sure that this is where it's at. I want struct name. It's going to say food, lowercase, but it should be uppercase. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's an example. Um, so in the parsing, I accidentally messed it up. So, parse, parse. I said it to the wrong thing. Mm. All right, so, oh shoot, you know why? Because that's the name of the identifier. Yeah, okay. I see. So, we can't exactly do that, right? We need to get the type of the identifier. So we need to look at the variables. Mm, right. Okay. Those should be stored in the program state. So actually, that shouldn't be too hard. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I just uh, derped out there. But in there, we should have it's in here. So the program state that has the uh, variables, right? Vars. So if we look at the vars, we find the one with the matching name, and then we can get the struct from there. That's kind of what we need to do. More or less. So, I uh, gen struct. Uh, okay, so we need to get the. Um, we have a get var or something like that. Forget it. I'm going to show it, right? Get var. Get variable location. Get the location of it. That's the index. Mm, okay. We can look at that because I can make it uh, to get the variable. Ah, oh, we could get mm, get var type. We not we don't just have get variable. We can use this and we can return um not that but the type of it, and the type should be set to the struct already. So uh, how is that? Get variable type. State, state and it's kind of repetitive 
Well, it should be able to get it. Maybe, uh, maybe just get the variable entirely. Right, just get the entire variable. That might be uh, more helpful. Mm, we don't necessarily know the type of it, do we? Mm, but it has a type in the in there, so yeah, that, that is fine. Uh, so this will just be turning a variable. Mm, and we should probably assert false in this case. I'm not going to get rid of it. Uh, print in the end, uh, this as well. Uh, because, right, we should check this in the parser, so that's why. Uh, the arg, yeah. Okay, so we need that. Mm, yeah, very good. So, well, we do have get variable type. Wait, we had that already? Mm. Okay, so we do have that. Um, do I want to use that? Well, we don't really care about the type. Do we actually? So, what is the uh, look at the variable types for this, right? So, okay, what do we have? Uh, we have. Mm, okay, I guess we don't have a type struct. So, how do we store that again? Very good. Oh, yeah, we have a struct and then a struct value. Yeah. All right, so if we get the variable, we have the struct name and then we can do stuff from that. So, we should be okay. We don't. Well, hey, we do care about the value. Well, so, yes, we need to get the. All right, all right, I see what we're using. Getting a little messy here, but. Uh, so let's do um then stuff uh make it field offset what is this okay offset plus equals that uh huh so we need to call this get variable struct name dot struct name and that should get uh should get that right mm, to get variable. yeah we need um. As well. Okay, let's go here. Offset is zero. So why? Oh yeah, because it's the first one. But if I change it to the uh, dot y, it should. There we go. Eight. So that is actually correct amount. So we need to push that then. Right? Okay. All right. So we want to get the first one there. Uh, so if I look at this, right? Uh, we don't want to generate. Basically, we need to um, we need to generate the offset now, and we can do that. Because we have the well, let's actually let's set the variable as well. Dot the bar equals get uh, variable state and struct name, and then we can just use that here. All uh, right, because we're going to use it as well because we need more information from it. Uh, struct bar. Mm, okay, and this yeah, so this we just go through until it is the same. We get the offset, so now we can uh, let's see, we have gen offset. We should have that. So let's go here, and we have, uh, yeah, so that's exactly what we need. Uh, yes, yeah, so we need to call gen offset, create file, and then offset, right? And that will generate the correct offset. Mm, but we don't have the pointer, so we need a pointer to be on top. So gen, that's what we need to get. So we need to get um, the struct size of that. So, or not the, the stack size, right? Uh, okay, so we need state, stack size, minus, bar, dot stack, position. Uh, okay, let's see if that compiles or. Uh, let's see. Mm, what's it called? The variable stack location called. Variable. It is stack position. Stack pose. What do I call it? That's, oh, it's struct bar. Yeah. Okay, I uh, did the wrong variable. My bad. Okay, so let's run that now. And we get. Ooh, well, okay. And it looks like it did generate. So now we just need to read, right? So we can just. I don't know if you have generate, but I can tell. Yeah. I want it all in a bunch. That makes it a lot easier to change in the future. So I'm going to need to. Uh, okay, let's try that again. We do have that. Let's look at the assembly. So we do read. Um, so if I run this now, expected int, okay, mm, interesting, so I'm, I'm messing up, in dupe zero, dupe, push zero, why don't we do this, hmm, actually, gen offset, let me look at that, oh shoot, so we dupe there, um, yeah, 
we do don't want to do that. Um, wait, why do we? That is interesting. That will break if I can get rid of it, so I'll just pop. But next, I should pop off the one that we don't want. I did it. Alright, actually, let me get through it. Let's see, what's wrong here? In dupe zero, dupe. Um, so that's the pointer that we have. Well, hey, that's gonna be. Yeah, it should be the pointer. And we duplicate it. That's interesting. So, I don't understand why I do it like that. Duplicate the pointer. So, we have two of the pointer on the stack. Then we push zero. And we add to that, right? That's the offset. Um, And then we cast it to avoid pointer. So, it's the pointer, right? Mm, but then we pop it off. That's not what we want to do. We want to, we want to swap and pop. Whoops. I wish we could not do that in the first place, though. Let me see what else I need to gen offset, because it's interesting. Hmm, during the variable declaration. So that's why we can do that. Let me just, you know, move it. So gen offset. It's uh, gen dupe right here. Uh, then it's the same thing. Oh, uh, yeah, we saw the issue with the other ones. Okay, offset. Uh, we need to get rid of the of the pot there now. Why is it still saying it's right here? Alright, let's see if um if I'm missing something. We duplicate it, push zero, and oh shoot, we don't push the amount to read. Okay, I'm stupid. So uh yeah, we need to push the size of the current data type. So um, after we do this, we need to gen push state file, and then we need a data type size of structure dot baggy dot data. And we don't have i anymore. Uh, so let's actually let's declare i out here. Oh, okay, here it is. Then we can use that, right? Or we can just set it. Uh, no, that's fine. Pressure dot values dot data i dot dot type, and that should be the current type that we need, and that should be the size thing. And then we can read them. Okay, so after that, I'm an integer. Why is this value dot value dot type? Hmm, because this uh is there. Is that no wait no that's not right. Wait, this is messed up somehow. There is extra ones. Um, oh, shoot, I did it twice. How did I do that? Theta i. There we go. Oh, okay, not sure how I managed to do that. But if we run that. Echo that. All right, that is correct. And then if we do y. And, okay, there we go. Um, So that seemed to work. So I should be able to increase this as well. We do have to put all of the values currently. Oh, if we make this now, um, let's see, we should be able to set it in a different order as well. Uh, Z equal to 7. Okay. I'll try one again. Fill 10. I do Z 27. Okay, and then one more try. X should be. There we go. All right, perfect, perfect. So that is that is good. So I will actually commit that already. Increment. Um, uh, field access in experience. Okay, okay, pretty good, pretty good. And now, uh, now we need to do it for variable reassign. Let's make sure there's nothing I'm missing here. So, um, we should, yeah, that should be fine. And we can probably reuse this, right? Um, let's see, we're passing those, and we'll be able to do the same thing with that. Um, but we just need to, we don't want to read from it, right? So, we want to move this read. Right, because if we're writing to it, we'd want to do that on our, on our own, right? If that makes sense. So, but the rest of it can be reused. If we have, right, these are basically the two sides of the struct that we can use. Um, we have struct, let's see, we have struct var. We generate the offset, and it's going to be the same whether we're reading or writing to it. So, yeah, so we can get rid of this. And just reuse it. And we, uh, gen struct field offset. And just bam. Whoops. I need to gen read state 
and file, and it should work exactly the same. Yes, okay, perfect. Oh, but now we'll be able to gen write as well after so we can gen the expression. Yeah, so that'll be that will be superb actually. Uh okay, so let's get let's get to that. So let's uh say what to do, uh who dot z equals fifty, right? Don't need that and then exit with who dot z. Uh so right now this isn't gonna work at all. But if we go to uh parse variable declaration. Uh no, it's not a very it's a variable reassign. Uh so how do we handle this? Mm -hmm. uh, reassign. Yeah, okay, so right now it's very simple, but if the next token, uh, let's see, if uh, token consume token dot type equals token type dot, then that means we need to change it, right? Um, so let's do you know, type equals type uh, field reassign. Um, yeah, so it sort of changes it up, right? Else we can uh, continue on with this. We only need to consume this one then. Then it was consumed. Mm, yeah, so we get the we get that. Let's actually set token here. So token main token equals token tokens. Then we have the name. So we can set um, in here. Set that equal to or well, say equal to this, right? So we'll say equal to uh, name token token dot value dot. Item. Otherwise, we want to set um, node dot value dot field dot var name. So it can be the same structure that we use equals name token dot value dot item. Mm, and then we want to consume again. Okay, and then the top token is going to be the. Uh, uh, this is running. This is the struct structure, actually. And then we want to set the. Uh, uh, we want to make sure that it is a. Let's see. We want to make sure it's an um, identifier. That's what I'm saying. The token. Uh, this will be. This will be the actual name token. So this will be the well. Bar token. So if uh, var t dot type is not equal to the type ident, then we need to print the error. I was print RT dot lock. I expected identifier but found. Uh, let's see. Types. RT dot type. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, we've got that going. Then we can set the uh, node value dot field dot bar equals bar t dot value dot item. Okay. okay, and this actually um this is gonna be done regardless. So actually actually mm, let me think. So let's see. Let me go through the branches, right? So let's say it's not a structure. So we do this. We peek the token, and then it gets consumed here, right? The identifier. Wait, no, hang on. Oh shoot. Um so Uh, we need to token consume this one. Yeah, and then so that's the uh, identifier being consumed, and then this is the dot or the equal, right? So I'm going to move this one. So if it's the dot, we go through this. But if it's not the dot, so in this case it's not. It was the equal sign. The identifier and the equal sign are already consumed. What just happened? I don't know what that was about. Uh, hey, hi. I don't know if you press a key. Yet. I don't know. I pressed. I pressed the wrong key. Um. Let me go back to that. Mm, okay. Let's go back to this. So it is not in that case. So we still want to set this in the else. Uh. But the equal sign was con consume. And then we are on to the expression. So yeah, it's basically just the same after that. So do we need to consume something else? Uh. We did that. It's gonna be token consume. That. The bar token. Consume. Okay. We consume the secondary one. Yo, hello, how are you? I am doing quite well. How are you doing? What's up? <clears throat> Do we need to consume a lot? Let's see. Okay, we need to make sure that it is a, an equal sign. Shoot, actually, this isn't going to work. 
because it's a dot. It's not this. Um, so this needs to be different. Good, good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Yes, yeah, so I actually made a stupid. Type equals token type uh, dot. Then we want to do all this stuff. Uh, so. Oh, yeah, I actually kind of messed that up. Mm. Okay, let's uh let's kind of start up. So we need to uh, consume that, and we know it's an equal already. So actually, so what is this? Yeah, so we peek one ahead, so we should be fine to do this. So I'm consume that consumes the name, and this consumes the equal sign. Uh, then we can get rid of this entirely. And do this. Is the equal. And that's the identifier, so that's pretty clear already. And there we go. So we can set that. So then here, uh, we still want to do this the same. Uh, yeah, okay. So we um, <coughs> we consume the identifier. Then we consume the dot. Mm, and then we consume again the variable name. Then we set uh we set we set it and we consume the equal sign. So yeah, set okay. well let me actually check as well. So if um showing this comment thing because uh it's not really useful when you have something like basically set exactly don't type it. Uh if token consume token is not type does not equal that and we'll print here. Uh expected equal uh can't do that, but then yeah. token types uh we need to actually get the token. So token uh equal token equals token consume Oops. tokens okay there we go let me get rid of this and change equal token all right all right all right equal token dot type okay i'm good here so then we have the expression on parts and wrong. So let me try to compile it. Uh okay, some issues. I seem to have put that in a semicolon right here I can see. And I forgot the location as well. Okay. Bang. So we don't have the field, so we need to add that. Um yes. let's add a type field yes. Very similar to a var but uh, then yeah, we need node and value. Instruct structs. Well, hang on. So then we need field field. Okay, then it compiles. So now we can go into the generation of it. Type var reassign. Yeah, similar to that. So, here we go. And. I, uh, this will be field reassign. So, field reassign. And value dot. Shoot. Ah, uh, shoot, 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 shoot. I forgot something. Field reassign. So, we can't exactly just directly use that because we need the value. We need to add the value to the field. So, let's do uh, dot field. Uh, field value data. Okay, so yeah, we'll add um, a value, which will be an expression, right? Do it. Enter, yeah. Okay. Then we can go back into here and type um, a field, like field be assigned, and we want field value data, anything the expression, get the variable location. So, yeah, we basically want to do the same thing that we did up here and then swap it at the end. Uh, we don't even need to swap actually because um yeah because we're not changing the actual variable so we're good for this we need to generate the expression but we don't actually want to do that yet so let me go up to uh gen uh start field offset and we can grab this stuff that we have here field we're going to do that before the expression right before the expression I go here so this will be not expert but instead node value dot field dot structure 
dot node value dot field dot var name yes okay and we get we generate that and instead of generating the read we need to generate the expression we can generate state but okay let's see if that can pop it does not so value dot data oh yeah it needs to be um an expression array right so yeah, yeah right here so this needs to be expert names. and okay so it does compile let's try it out i'll inspect the toe all right, all right. Oh, let's see Dot so nine. Oh, oh shoot, because I put a semicolon in there. Okay. Mm, Alright, so that compiled and eight. It's not right at all. I might have uh that's something because that's the size of it. Ooh. Right. Gen field, no, not gen field. Oh, let's field. Generate the expression. I might have set the expression wrong for the value. No, because this is value here. So why don't we do that? Gen right. Just gen right generate that. I mean, it should not. Yeah, it does. So, for some reason, the expression generated that? Why is that? Because we do have the 27, and is that right? Ah, no, it should be 50. Mm, okay, so I'm going to something up that in the person. So let's do uh, field reassign. <coughs> uh, so, parse expert. Alright, let me actually get a fix up. Let me get rid of this and make sure that's still works. Yeah, okay, so that still works. Uh, that is fine. So the issue here is field by value, parse expression, tokens. Uh huh. Let's see, type var reassign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, this should be uh, this, if it does not equal token type dot, then you want to print an error. Let me grab uh, this print error. All right, all right. Print error, and this will be a name token. Expected item. Identifier, but found. Name, T dot. Okay. Uh, yeah, because that's even better now. All right, uh, that shouldn't be changed any data. Uh, who does it need? It's 50. Right, again. Yeah, so it's still, uh, still thinks there's eight for some reason. So maybe I could use, let's see, um, let me step through this, right? So here, we consume the equal at the end. And this last one that we consumed was the equal as well. And then we do this. Uh, field, yeah, so that's all correct. All right, maybe I should uh, use GDB, right? Break on chain expert. Let's see. So what do we, what do we push? It? Push print expert value dot integer. So in this case, it should be yes. That's the first one. Then we're gonna have another one. So we'll continue to it. It's gonna be the next value. So expert value dot integer, and it's gonna be ten. Okay. Next one should be twenty-seven. 27, yes, okay. So now, continue here, and value is 50. Yeah, okay, wait, 50. Let me uh, go down this thing. So we do set it to 50, so I don't get what the issue is now. So it must be in here. I guess something bad. Oh. There's something up there. Ah, uh, here we go. So let's see. Gen expert. Ah, uh, 
Yeah, but switching like that. Which in the right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Oh, should I have to go to the end? Okay. The end of it. Ooh, we might be grabbing the wrong thing here. Or this is the wrong order, actually. Could that be it? That is it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we put it in the wrong order. So how do we not do that? We need to swap. Okay, so we need to gen swap. I don't know if I have just gen swap. Uh, I think it's gen in swap. And hopefully it doesn't require an expression, but it's not. Oh yeah, okay. So file and zero. Okay, now it's running. And it's still eight. What? I want to inswap one. Actually. Yeah, so that is, that is it. Um, yeah, because in swap zero just swaps it with itself, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, it's useful for index and do, but not swap. Okay. So push eight, because we do that in the generating the offset. And then we push 50, we swap it, and we write. Okay. And then we can actually write the data properly. So we can update it. So let's see. We can uh, do dot y equals that, right? And then we can exit or with z, which is 27. Okay. And if we do dot y, there we go. Okay, let me try uh, foo.y plus foo.x. I'm not sure if that works with the x. Okay, okay. Uh, that actually worked. All right. Uh, so let me get that. Implement, um, <coughs> implement, uh, reassign. Okay, uh, that's pretty good, actually. I am quite happy with that. Um, all right. Didn't generate. Um, it's not gonna work, right? So if we uh, go like this, if we leave a field out, it will not work. That's not match. And also, so we can uh, well, what is that to do? That's just gonna treat it as though it is that. That is interesting. Uh, no, I guess. Well, yeah. So this field, mm, that is a, that is something. So that's uh, that is an issue. Let me create an issue for that because I don't feel like necessarily facing right now. I want to go through all the issues and see what I want to fix. Let's see, uh, struct names can be a change in variable initialization. All right, I think I can, I'll be able to understand what I meant by that, hopefully. Uh, so we can do that. Um, something else, though, we can't reference itself, so we can't do this, you know? <coughs> yeah, can type about it. So I need to figure out how to do that, and I think the way to do that would probably be to add it. Um, when we, when we come to this, we need to add it to the structs. We go here, one on the sides yet, but we'll be able to figure out at the end. Um, well actually, and how does that work? Because if it's not a pointer, well, it's going to have to just be a pointer, basically. Ah, uh, yeah, so we'll need to implement pointers, basically, for that to work. Pointers to structs. Uh, which I guess we do have pointer, and we can just, let's just use a void pointer as that, and just cast it, right? If we can cast it to a struct, uh, that would probably work. Right, because that has to be a point. And then that would actually work. Uh, right now, there's not like type checking, but so it does that. Um, okay. Okay, okay. What is that? Mm, yeah, so we need to check that as well. There's some things that we need to check here. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for today, though, because I do have to go at the moment. So I will uh, push these pages. Because uh, I'm going to Ah, uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.